Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Manchester United versus Newcastle Carabao Cup final. Big, big game, big, big game coming up on Sunday. Yesterday, we slapped up Barcelona to move on into round of 16. Uh, the draw was out this morning and it looks like we are actually going to play Real Betis. Not an easy team if you ask me, but our focus today is obviously the Carabao Cup final. So in this show, we are going to cover the team news, predicted starting 11, the current form head to head and score prediction, uh, score prediction at the end. So be sure to stick around and get, in, get, get involved by letting us know who should be in the starting uh, lineup as well. Um, before we get into the team news, if you are enjoying these previews, uh, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let's move on to the team news, people. Eric Ten Hag has been asked for an update on the uh, fitness of Marcus Rashford. It's a big worry. Uh, we saw a video of Marcus Rashford actually limping, uh, uh, leaving Old Trafford. So is he available for the game? Is he not available? I think we don't know yet. On a more positive note, Anthony. Anthony is back. Harry Maguire returned to the match, uh, match day squad for the win over Barcelona. Uh, Casemiro also returned to action after serving a third uh, and final match ban. So he is going to be available for selection in this final. So we're good to go there. We're going to definitely need uh, Casemiro to play in this match. Christian Eriksen and Donny van der Beek, we know they are long-term absentees. So that is the team news. So these are the players that we're missing. Donny, Christian Eriksen, and Anthony uh, Martial. So we're looking good. I think we're looking good. Hopefully Rashford is fit to play. Uh, let's quickly cover Newcastle team news. And we're going to take a look at the, 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 the lineup that which I think is going to play against Newcastle and how we should set up in that match. Newcastle, first choice goalkeeper, Nick Pope, who is suspended after picking up uh, a red card and recent Premier League loss to Liverpool, will not be available. Uh, Dabravka is also cup tied, so he is also gonna miss uh, the game against Man United. Eddie Howe is therefore likely uh, to either hand a competitive Newcastle debut to a former Liverpool goalkeeper, Loris Karius. I mean, this guy, we know what he did in the final against Real Madrid. He just, I hope he does the same thing if he plays uh, on Sunday. Uh, uh, Mark Gillespie is another choice for them in the goalkeeper department who last played between the posts for the club senior in September 2020. That's a long time ago. Uh, speaking in pre-match press conference earlier this week, Eddie Howe was hopeful midfielder Joel Linton and Joe Willock uh, would be fit to feature in this match despite sustaining injuries in the outings against Liverpool and Bournemouth respectively earlier this month. So the Swiss, uh, the Swiss, uh, the Swedish defender uh, Emily Kraft is a long-term absentee as well. So these are the team news for Newcastle. We're just gonna get, uh, we're gonna get um, head over to the team lineup, which I think uh, will play against Newcastle. Looking at the lineup here. Um, David De Gea, obviously, this is, by the way, this is the team that started against Barcelona just yesterday. Just yesterday, this is the team that has started against Barcelona. We're going to make a few changes in this lineup. I think David De Gea, I think, will stay there. I don't think we're going to make a change there. Uh, Luke Shaw will stay at, at left back. Two partnership, Varane and Martinez. We are not going to change anything over there. Uh, right back. Right back is an option. You have to make a choice now. You have to make a choice. We've seen Juan Basaka play uh, yesterday and he has to be uh, taken off because offensively he wasn't giving us anything. And Newcastle are going to be playing a very conservative game. They're going to be playing a very defensive game. So I think we have to go with Dalot's right back position, in my opinion, instead of, instead of Juan Basaka. Because I think Dalot was going to give us uh, that creativity that we need up front. Uh, and, and for that reason, for that reason only, I am going to take off Bambasaka and put Dallo there. Casemiro, this man, I mean, what can you say about Casemiro? Casemiro always delivering for United, always, every single time this guy plays, he is performing. I've not seen a game from Casemiro that 
that I would say, okay, that's an average game. He's always been eight out of 10, in my opinion. And I don't think United would be where they're at without Casabeo. So he's been a massive, massive uh, difference maker into this team. So uh, Casemiro will be playing as CDM alongside him. You could go with Sabatza or you could go with Fred. Fred, because of what he did uh, yesterday against Barcelona, you're just going to have to reward him in this final. You have to reward him in this final. He started off playing bad in that first half against Barcelona, but the second half, everything changed. Got on the score sheet. He was driving the team forward. He was trying to create chances. He was doing a lot of pressing. He was very energetic, uh, energetic uh, in the middle of the park. And he, he, he took the ball off of Barcelona a lot of times. I mean, he, the talent he has taking the ball off of uh, um, opponents is just ridiculous. So up front, so up front, we started off with Weghorst. I expect Weghorst to be on the bench. I have nothing against this guy, but I don't think we should start the match with Weghorst again. We saw against Leicester City in the first half, it did not work. And we saw yesterday against Barcelona, it did not work as well. So definitely Weghorst has to be uh, put on the bench, in my opinion. And he should start this match in the final. So he is definitely going to be out of the team. And who do you think is going to come in? So... Anthony. Bruno is going to be pushed in the middle, which is his favorite position as a number 10. And Anthony will be playing on the right. So this is Anthony's uh, best position and this is Bruno's best position. Second half showed us everything we need to see uh, in the last game. Basically, he changed the game, got on the score sheet as well. So he deserves to start this match. Let me know in the comment sections. Do you think Anthony should start or not in this match. There could be a discussion between uh, who would you start? Would you go with Sancho or would you go with uh, this guy right here, Garnacho? Uh, yeah, Garnacho was right. He came on, make a difference again yesterday. But every time I see Garnacho starting uh, matches, he's not performing. Why is that? But every single time he's on the bench and he comes on late in the game, he's impacting games every single time. So just because of that, I think we should put Garnacho on the bench. So teams form. So teams form. Uh, we won our game yesterday. Uh, the last five games, you're looking at two draws and three wins for Manchester United. Uh, you're looking at two draws uh, and one loss and two wins for Newcastle. So the last three games, really, they haven't won. They've drawn against West Ham and Bournemouth and lost against Liverpool at home. So Liverpool are not even... Uh, on top four and they they went there and beat the head to head okay so head to head the last four games we've won two we've drawn the last two so at home we've drawn a game against newcastle so they did keep a clean sheet at all trafford i know marcus rashford had a a, a clear cut chance in that match and he didn't take it he didn't take it but I don't think it's going to be difficult. I really, really don't think it's going to be that difficult. It won't be easy. It's a final. So prediction time. Prediction time. So prediction time. So I'll say, I'll say Manchester United 2, Newcastle United nil. That is my prediction. I think we're going to score two goals in this match. Fortunately for Newcastle, they are currently in the mix of their worst run at the worst uh, possible time. Uh, definitely, they're going to be missing Nick Pope. Uh, we have fitness uh, fitness um, issues of our own with Marcus Rashford. Um, I doubt uh, if he doesn't play, that might give Newcastle some hope. That might give Newcastle some hope. But I still, I cannot see beyond a Manchester United win. And I think it's going to be 2-0. Uh, we're definitely, definitely uh, going to see Eric Ten Hag's first trophy on Sunday, people. We're going to be seeing armpits, believe it or not. We're going to be seeing when they lift that trophy, we'll be seeing that. And Eric Ten Hag, whether somebody likes it or not, Eric Ten Hag definitely, he is definitely going to give us that trophy. And I believe in Eric Ten Hag. These are the times to be excited. We still are on four trophies. I mean, four competitions. We could win. We could win two. I mean, I would be happy if we win two and finishing the top four, to be honest. I'm dreaming, and I'm dreaming big, and I think 
we can go for all four and see what happens. You never know in football. I mean, you definitely would never know in football. Some might say you deluded. We're not going to win four trophies. I understand. But the reality is we're still competing in four competitions. But that is it, people. Thank you all for watching. Be sure, like I said, be sure to join us for the watch along and leave your comments uh, in, uh, in the comment sections below with your prediction. What would you change in this lineup? Do you agree with this lineup? Do you disagree? Would you start Juan Basaka ahead of Donald? Would you start Garnacho ahead of Sancho? Uh, would you start Weghorst in this game? All that questions that needs to be answered, leave them down in the comment sections. And that is it, people. Thanks again for joining. And I'll see you in the final on Sunday. Thanks. Peace.